In this video, we are going to learn on how we can use our Python Keras models in our web apps. Before we proceed, you need to note that if the model is easy to train, it can be easily integrated in JavaScript code. This means that you do not have to develop it in Python and then export it for use in web apps. Since deep learning requires a lot of training, it is wise to train the models offline and then convert them to a structure that can be used in our browser. Currently, TensorFlow.js only supports Keras models. I'm going to demonstrate how you can add a Keras model to your JavaScript web app. I will demonstrate this using Vue.js framework, although, the code is the same even for React, Angular and Vanilla JavaScript apps. Keras models, typically created via the Python API, may be saved in one of several formats. The whole model format can be converted to TensorFlow.js layers format, which can be loaded directly into TensorFlow.js for inference or for further training. The target TensorFlow.js layers format is a directory containing a model.json file and a set of sharded weight files in binary format. The model.json file contains both the model topology, that is, architecture or graph, as well as a description of the layers and how they are connected and a manifest of the weight files. Now let's start the process of converting our Keras model for TensorFlow.js. You need Python installed in your computer. Importing a Keras model into TensorFlow.js is a two-step process. Step 1. Convert an existing Keras model to TF.js layers format. First, you need to convert an existing Keras model to TF.js layers format, and then load it into TensorFlow.js. Keras models are usually saved via model.save file path, which produces a single HDF5 file containing both the model topology and the weights. To convert such a file to tf.js layers format, run the following command. Note that the first path is the source keras.h5 file while the second path is the target output directory for the tf.js files that we will use in our JavaScript app. Alternatively, use the Python API to export directly to tf.js layers format. If you have a Keras model in Python, you can export it directly to the TensorFlow.js layers. This process involves importing TensorFlow.js library in Python and then using the library to save the model to target directory. Step 2. Load the model into TensorFlow.js. Use a web server to serve the converted model files you generated in Step 1. Note that you may need to configure your server to allow cross-origin resource sharing cores in order to allow fetching the files in JavaScript. Then load the model into TensorFlow.js by providing the URL to the model JSON file. Now, the model is ready for inference, evaluation, or retraining. For instance, the loaded model can be immediately used to make a prediction. Many of the TensorFlow.js examples take this approach, using pre-trained models that have been converted and hosted on Google Cloud Storage. Note that you refer to the entire model using the model.json filename. Load model fetches model.json, and then makes additional HTTPS requests to obtain the sharded weight files referenced in the model, JSON weight manifest. This approach allows all of these files to be cached by the browser and perhaps by additional caching servers on the internet, because the model.json and the weight shards are each smaller than the typical cache file size limit. Thus, a model is likely to load more quickly on subsequent occasions. TensorFlow.js layers currently only supports Keras models using standard Keras constructs. Models using unsupported ops or layers. Examples. Custom layers, lambda layers, custom losses, or custom metric. Cannot be automatically imported, because they depend on Python code that cannot be reliably translated into JavaScript. <laughs> 